It will seem like old times when the Chiefs and Raiders get together with a playoff berth at stake tomorrow. Sports director Frank Bull has been on the West Coast all week watching the Chiefs prepare for an always nasty Raiders defense. Frank takes a final look before tomorrow's contest. The Chiefs wrapped up practice here in Palm Springs this morning as they prepare for Sunday's game against the L.A. Raiders. And, of course, that is the only thing on their mind to get a victory in the Coliseum. And, of course, one of the keys to that victory is how well the offensive line protects the quarterback. So that just about wraps it up from here in Palm Springs, California. Tomorrow, of course, don't forget the big game between the Chiefs and the L.A. Raiders. You can see that game here on TV4 at 3 o'clock. And don't forget, for the Chiefs, it's a must-win situation. Reporting from Palm Springs, Frank Bowl, Action 4 Nightcast. Meanwhile, there were two NFL games this afternoon. The Denver Broncos have brought back the orange crush of old and have done pretty well this season. Denver clinched a playoff berth, as did the Washington Redskins, their opponent in tomorrow's contest. Joe Gibbs and company still in the hunt for an AFC title. But this man, John Elway, stands in the way. Elway ran for a score and found Steve Watson from 19 yards out to put the Broncos up 21 to 13. Sammy Winder dives in for his second TD of the day to extend Denver's lead to 28 to 16. Dan Reeves and his Denver club hold on for a win, 31-30. The difference, a missed point after touchdown after the Skins' first score. A win next week in Seattle guarantees the Broncos the home field advantage throughout the playoffs. The Jets continue their downhill plunge. New York has lost four straight, while the Steelers have won five out of their last eight, including today in the Meadowlands, 45 to 24. The Jets can still make the playoffs by winning next week in Cincinnati or if the Chiefs defeat the Raiders tomorrow. The Kansas Jayhawks and the Colorado Buffaloes opened up their Big 8 season tonight at Allen Fieldhouse. The Hawks have won 37 straight games at home, while the Buffs, under first-year coach Tom Miller, were trying to win at Allen Fieldhouse for only the third time in the last 23 years. Mark Turgeon there with a jump shot, first two points of the game. But the pesky Buffaloes hung tough. Michael Lee makes the steal an easy layup to keep the game close. Things got a little rough inside. Danny Manning fights through the triple team to score two of his 23 points. Manning's two free throws at the end were the difference. Freshman Mark Randall with a nice turnaround jump shot here. Randall was three for four from the field. The Buffs missed a three-point shot at the buzzer that could have sent the game into overtime. KU wins it 59 to 56. Kansas now four and one on the season. KU will host Texas Tech next Saturday in Lawrence. Other scores in the Big 8. Florida State couldn't keep up with Oklahoma. Oklahoma wins at 109-92. Tim McAllister and Chu Kennedy, 25 points each for OU. Wichita State got by Kansas State, 63-60. K-State loses their first game of the season. Henry Carr led four players in double figures for the Shockers. Michigan State nipped Iowa State. Iowa State continues to struggle early. And Tulsa got by Oklahoma State, 79-70. Just like the Chiefs, the Comets will be in Los Angeles this weekend. Kansas City 5-3 will go up against the Lasers. We'll have highlights of both contests tomorrow on the Nightcast.